Hey everyone, it's Brett, and in Pokemon Go, we just got an update for the upcoming month of December 2020. December is the most important month in Pokemon Go, and for those of you who don't know or are new to the game, previous Decembers have given us Community Days where we are able to evolve previous Community Day Pokemon to get their Community Day exclusive move. For example, Metagross, you could evolve it during the December Community Day to get Meteor Mash, which makes it the strongest steel type in the game. However, this year they put out Elite TMs, which are TMs that can unlock uh, exclusive moves from the past and Community Day moves on your Pokemon. So the concern is are they going to paywall us or are they going to be cool and let us do a community day where we can unlock those moves by evolving during the community day of December? This update does not answer those questions but let's look into it anyway. So for the whole month of December we are getting Lapras or Unovan Darumaka for research breakthrough encounters. Uh, doesn't compare to back when I first started in 2018 where you could get legendary encounters. Just saying. Lapras can be shiny. It's a cool purple. Daramaka does not have a shiny form out yet. If you don't have that Lapras one yet, maybe you can get extremely lucky, but it's a coin flip if you even get Lapras. And then if it's shiny, well, good luck. Speaking of things not being shiny... As far as raids go for December, we have Kiram out, which is an ice dragon that we had out recently along with Reshiram and Zekrom. We're going to have Kiram back, but not shiny. It doesn't say anywhere in the description about being shiny unless they surprise us, which they usually don't when it comes to raids. They'll usually give us the heads up if it's going to be shiny. That's a bit disappointing to me. For you, if you want a good IV one, I don't think it matters because I don't think it's relevant in PvP or in raids. Me personally, I if I even get around to using a free pass on it, I guess I will, but I'm not going to go out of my way. Mega Obama Snow will be out in raids if you're into that, which I'm not. Uh, it probably will have a shiny form, and it is the strongest ice type in the game for 8 hours. I do not like Mega Raids. Give you a couple of reasons here uh, the shiny odds are really bad for mega raids that's like one in 60 or something like that uh, it's a rental system that i don't agree with and the rewards fail in comparison to legendary raids where you could in legendary raids you could possibly get 15 rare candy here are the spotlight hours and i'll point out the ones that catch my eye which is december 8th swine of uh, there's a two times catch Stardust, and those events, you need to do those if you want to be Stardust rich. Put on those two star pieces on and catch everything during that hour. Tuesday, December 15th, a surprise Pokemon will be in the spotlight. Uh, we'll find out the day before, thanks to Australia, to see if that's anything cool. And then Snover, the last day of the month for spotlight hour it's really good for pvp for great and ultra league and now it has that mega form if you're really into that and you want to get like a hundo or something like that the final update here is tagging pokemon so we can do our searches easier I guess that's cool the update i'm most looking forward to is december community day so I will keep you posted when I see something or if you know anything, let me know, comment below, like, subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.